talk about getting Lightroom ready for a new year. All right, so generally in Lightroom, I have a catalog for each year. That works great. It keeps it lean and efficient. However, when I want to find older photos, previous years, I don't want to have to remember what catalog or what year I took that photo. So I bring it all together into one master archive, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video and keep Lightroom happy and efficient with some best practice tips. Let's get started. The first step is to delete junk. Now, ideally, you're going to delete junk as you import. But if you're like me, there are some files that you keep around. You're maybe not sure if you're going to use it in the future or not. Well, now that you've been sitting on some of these files, these photos for over a year, if you haven't done anything with them, if they haven't been starred, if they haven't been worked on, do you really want to keep them forever and ever? So take some time and go through your catalog and delete those that are truly junk. Now, you can just navigate through finding images that you want to get rid of and hit the X key to mark them for deletion or the Lightroom term is set as rejected. You can also jump to a rating system that will show you any images that you have not starred. So then you're going to only see those that haven't been starred and select all of them at once for deletion. Once I've made it through the entire catalog, all of the folders, rejecting those junk ones, marking for deletion. I like to use the filter by flag status to see all of those that have been rejected. Just this is one last safety check to make sure that no special particular file has gotten in here. I'm making sure that none are starred because they can also be starred and rejected. That would be confusing, but maybe an accident happens. This is one last check to make sure everything looks good, or I should say looks bad. Then I go to photo, delete rejected photos, and I delete these from disk. If they're not in Lightroom, they don't exist to me. And so I don't want them cluttering up my hard drive so that I know what I see in Lightroom is what I got to work with. The last step to discard our previews. It's unlikely moving forward that you're going to be working with these files as often as you have over the past year. And so I find it less likely to need full resolution previews of all of them. So I'm going to ditch those. It makes the catalog a little bit smaller and it's easier to import. I also take a moment to ditch any smart previews that I've made. Again, just slimming down the size of this catalog. All right, now that you've done all of the cleanup and organization of that last year's catalog, you're ready to mash it into your archive. If you haven't created an archive catalog, you could do that now. If you've created one, you should open that catalog up and navigate to File, Import from Catalog. Select last year's catalog, making sure to uncheck any extra stuff that might still be in there that you didn't delete that you don't care about archiving and hit import. Now, if it's a larger catalog, be prepared to wait. It takes some time. You're now ready to create a new catalog for the year ahead. It's as easy as file new, create a logical place. I continue to use this folder I call an archive. It is actually my working archive. So 2018, the new year is created inside that and I create a Lightroom folder inside that that will hold the catalog and the pieces associated with it. Outside that Lightroom folder will be the individual folders for the images that I'm importing over the course of this year. Now at this point, you actually have at least three catalogs, last year's, this year's, and the archive that contains last year's and years prior to it. If you are sure that everything has imported correctly to the archive and you need to save space, it would be a great idea to delete last year's catalog. You no longer need it around. All of the information it contained is in the master archive. At this point, you should delete your trash or empty your trash and get out there and get shooting. And a quick bonus tip, let me show you how I import. So on this card, I actually have images from last year and this year. It's one of the rare times where I leave a few images on there. So I'm taking just the new year's images in. I 
continue to store those, as I said, in the archive. And I create a folder that starts with the year, then the month, then the day, and a short descriptive text so that I know exactly what's inside that folder at a glance. I have a base preset that I apply, and I have a metadata preset. And on import, I have Lightroom change the file names, adds the date in the same format I use for the folder, plus a short descriptive text, and then the original file name. So at a glance, I can tell the contents of this file. All right, so that was a look at setting Lightroom up for the new year. If you're looking for additional Lightroom training, I've got that. Plus tons of additional content from Photoshop tutorials to portraiture to how to use your flash. That's all at the Photo Enthusiast Network. And you can join that and be part of this fantastic community of folks that are ready to support you wherever you are in your photographic journey. You can learn more about that at the link right down below. And of course, if you found this video helpful, Give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and gear reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.